ずっと一緒に詩篇を読んでいますけれども、今日は21編の8節から13節、英語の聖書だと9節から14節です。So we've been looking at the book of Psalm, and today we are going to look at、uh, chapter 21, verse 9 to 14. Let's read. I am the first one who is 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 the first one who 炎に舐め尽くされ、その子らは地から子孫は人の子らの中から立たれる。彼らはあなたに向かって悪口を企み、陰謀を巡らすが決して成功しない。かえってあなたは彼らを引き倒し、彼らに向かって弓を引き絞られる。道からを表される主をあがめよ。力あるニヤザをたたえて、我らは賛美の歌を歌う。Your hand will lay hold of your enemies, your right hand will say to p o s e At the time of your appearing, you will make them like a fiery furnace. In his wrath, the Lord will swallow them up, and his fire will consume them. You will destroy the descendants from the earth, their, pros- their, their prosperity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. For you will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with a drawn bow. Be exalted, O Lord, in strength, we will sing and praise your might. Have you ever thought that God is really scary? What kind of existence is He? 自然災害とか事故とか病気とかあるいは他の国に侵略されるとかそういったことを神様の怒りの表れというふうに感じる感じ方はユダヤ教やキリスト教だけではなくて多くの文化の中で長く続いてきました。So often things like natural disasters, maybe accidents, sickness, or being attacked by foreign countries have been thought as Some, something of、uh, God's anger being imposed on us by so many cultures, not only the Jews, but Christianity as well has been filled with this kind of thoughts. 2011年の3月に東北地方地震と津波が襲いました。So in 2011 March, we had the great Northeast earthquake in Japan. ある牧師はこう言いました。One of the pastors had this to say. ついに偶像礼拝の国に神の怒りが下ったと。Finally, the country which has been worshipping idols, the God's anger has landed on them. 本当に神様が怒ってそんなことが起きたんでしょうか ?Do you really think that God was really angry and that was a result of that kind of thing was a result of God's anger? 神様は人間のように怒るんでしょうか You think God is like a human being who will give his anger in the, like the way humans do? So, if you think it's different, how do you think it's different with the, the way human anger is? How different is it? Where is God's anger directed towards? And who is God's enemy? We look at this, we want to look at this together this morning. So let's read the first verse together. Chapter 21, verse 9 to 14. Let's read it together. Your hand will lay hold of your enemies, your right hand will seize your force. Your hand will lay hold of your right hand will seize your force. あなたの見ては敵のすべてに及び、右の見てはあなたのあなたを憎むものに及ぶ。神様、誰を憎むでしょうか。So who does God really hate? 前回取り上げたこの21編の前半には、王という言葉がたくさん出てきました。So last time we looked at the chapter 21, and at that time the word king appeared so many times. どこには一つも出てきません
But today the word king is not appearing anywhere. でもこれは王であるダビデの歌です。But this is actually written by king, the king who is king David. ダビデが考える神様についてのことです。It's about what David thinks about God. ユダヤの王ダビデにとっては自分の敵は神の敵っていうのは当たり前のことでした。So David, who was the king of the Jews, thought that his enemies are actually God's enemies. つまり、自分たちに敵対する民族と民族に一緒に戦ってくれるのが神様だと思ってた。That's to say, he thought that the people who were their rivals, I mean other tribes who were fighting them, they would fight with God and God would be on their side as their ally to fight those people together. ダビデにとっては神様というのは私たち彼らの民族の神様でした。And to David he thought that God was a God of their tribe. <笑>そしてご存知のように彼らは自分たちが特別に神様に選ばれた民だと思ってました。And as you already know, they thought that they are the specially chosen people of God. 私たちもそう教えられてきたと思います。And I believe we also had This kind of study, or we learned that kind of thing sometime. But I want you to rethink about this a little bit. So if you look at the book of Genesis from chapter 21, the content changes much. So from there, we 神様がどう世界を創造されたかとか、神様が創造した人間がどういうふうにこう世界中に広がっていったかということが書かれています。So from the first verse up to verse 11, I mean chapter to chapter 11, it talks about the story of creation, how God created the world, and how He made the people, how He spread the people throughout the world. ところが12章に入ると、フォーカスは一人の人に向けられます。But when we reach Chapter 12, the focus turns into one person. Abraham. And that's Abraham. そしてそこからユダヤの歴史は始まります。And that's actually where the, the Jews history begins. 正確に言うなら、神様はイスラエル民族を選んだというよりも、アブラハムとその子供たちを選んだんです。But to The truth is, instead of saying that God chose the Israelites, but it's more true to say that God chose Abraham and his descendants. So, no, you guys, what are the two? Do you understand the difference? こういくつかの民族があって、私はこの民族を選びますと神様は言ったのではありません。God did not say that out of so many different tribes, I'm going to choose this particular tribe. そうではなくて一人の人を見てその人を選んだ。But instead, he looked at one person and chose that person. そして彼らがユダヤ民族になったんです。And that person became the father of the, the Jews. アブラハムあごめんなさい。神様が認めたのはアブラハムの信仰であって、ユダヤ民族の信仰ではありません。So God actually looked and recognized Abraham's faith. He didn't really look at the faith of the Jews people. ダビデの神様は私が敵と戦うときはいつも味方でいてほしいという気持ちはわかります。So we actually understand David's feeling that、hey, when he's fighting his enemies, God will always be his ally in helping him fight them. 私たちだとそう思うと思います。And I think we also believe in such a thing. でもそれでは神様はいつまでたってもローカルな神様なんです。But if we look at that in that context, we may put God as to be some local God. 創世記の最初の方に書いてある神様はどういう神様でしたでしょうか So what kind of God, the, the God who is written in the book of creation in Genesis, which kind of God is that one? 決してローカルな神様ではなかったんです。He wasn't a local God. 世界の創造者です。He was the creator of the universe. でそのことは実はこのアブラハムという人の名前にもよく現れています。And that's, that truth is actually always appears in the name Abraham. アブラハムは75歳の時に初めて神様から呼び出されて新しい冒険を始めました
So Abraham was called by God when he was 75. But at that, at that time, his name was not Abraham. His name was Abraham. So when Abraham was 99, God again called him. So, so when you put another syllable, ha, between ra and m, what happens? Abraham というのは神の父という意味があります。So the name Abraham means the father of the multitude, so the tribe. ところが、ハを入れると多くの民の父というふうになるんです。But if we put the, the syllable ハ in between there to call Abraham, it, the meaning changes to be the father of many nations. たった一つの字ですけれども、これは大変大きな違いです。Adding one syllable there gives us a very totally different meaning. もしそれがアブラムのままであれば、私たちは神様の民、民。他の人はみんな神の敵ということをいつまでも続けます。If the name had remained Abraham, it would be right to say that God is the God of our tribe and others are not concerned with him. 神様が帰なさいと命じたアブラハムなら、人類は例外なく私たちであって人類の中に敵はいないということになります。But as soon as the name changes from Abraham to Abraham, it means that all God's creation, are, all people are God's creation and everyone, there is no one to look at as an enemy. ユダヤの民は残念ながらこの神様の意思を理解することができませんでした。It's rather unfortunate that the Jewish people did not understand God's true will. Doesn't mean that the Jewish people were different or somehow. Irrespective of whichever tribe, there will always be some misunderstanding of the kind of thing. And because of that kind of misunderstanding, God Himself appeared as Jesus, as a person, Jesus Christ. So, Jesus taught us who our true enemy is. What did Jesus say about that? What did he say about who our enemies? So they were. He said, Our enemy is sin. Even up to now, it's the same thing. Original sin. Original sin. sin sorry. The original sin is to turn your back against God. So that's why I'm going to say, I'm going to say, So we may think that turning you, God says, I mean, someone turning his back on God and knows that it's sin, and we think that's the enemy. And God is not the God who will. Try to attack or inflict pain on someone who has turned his back on him. So, whether God gets angry or not, if you turn your, your back against God, something really bad might happen. 人が自分を守ってくれる神様に背を向けるならば、自分は自分で守るしかありません。So if you have to turn your back against God, who is always your protector, then you have to protect yourself. 自分で強くならなければなりません。You got to be stronger. 自分で豊かにならなければなりません。You have to be rich or wealthy on your own. そこに争いが起こります。And in that kind of circumstance, some 
fight happens. We find like economic activity leading to full self fulfillment. So we have a and you will realize there will be so many divisions of fights within personal fights like tribe against tribe or country against country. There are so many things that are not yet understood, so many natural calamities that happen and have no proper explanation. But what actually magnifies this kind of calamity is actually a result of human activity. The tsunami that happened in the northeastern Japan wasn't didn't happen for the first time. Maybe hundreds of years ago, tens of years ago, there, there, were, there, there is history of big tsunamis happening in that area. So the people who lived in that area had that kind of understanding that there, are, there is always a tsunami in this place. But the human beings, despite knowing that if a problem happens, it cannot be controlled, they went ahead and constructed a nuclear plant in that kind of cost. Because we want to produce much electricity and live a wealthy life and make more money. So in areas where you, you really know that if there is a heavy rain, there will be mud and stone slides, there will be mud slides, but people still went ahead and kind of developed that area and sold it to make money for themselves. So, because of personal gain, people have gone ahead to destroy the environment, and even some people realize that this is bad and they can try to raise their voice. But people continue to do that to gain personal, for personal gain. And even there are people who are opposing this idea that. Like global warming, it's a concept that is created just because they want to make money out of that. And many, and the surprising thing is that those people have many followers, actually. But on the other side, other parts of the world, what do you think is happening there? As a result of this, many people are actually facing starvation, they are facing famine, there is drought and even flooding in some parts of the world. And that's why I say that what we have to face as our enemy is something that works at the background of this and that is the sin. Our duty is to teach that our true enemy is something that is fighting within you, and that's your what's fighting within you, inside your heart, that's the same within you, not the people who are maybe your enemies or you think you are, they are your enemies. Those are not your true enemies. The true enemy is the same inside of us. 
and thus we have to fight the sin. For us, our sin was forgiven through the cross. でもその意味は罪の性質が私たちの内側から消え去ってしまったというわけではない。But that does not mean that the, the truth, the sin, the, our sinful nature vanished from our hearts. そうではなくて、イエスと共に戦うことを許されたという。It means that we have the, the privilege to fight together with Jesus, to fight the sin with Jesus. それではその次の説を読んでみましょう。Let's read the next verse. 主よあなたが怒りを表されるとき、彼らは燃える炉に投げ込まれたものとなり、怒りに飲み込まれ、炎に舐め尽くされ。At the time of your appearing, you will make them like a fiery furnace in his wrath. The Lord will swallow them up and his fire will consume them. 私たちはもう敵のことは何か、敵が何かということをはっきりし,たしました。So we have understood who our true enemy is. 何人でも何教徒でもありません。It's not which kind of nationality or which kind of religion, it's not about those people. 人々の、すべての人々の心の中に働く罪です。It's what works inside everyone's heart, the same. この敵のことがはっきりしましたから、私たちは神様の怒りについても誤解せずに理解することができるはずです。And because we have understood who our true enemy is, is Is now, we can now not, not misunderstand what God's true anger is. I want you to put in your heart that there is a difference between God's anger and human anger. The Bible doesn't say that human anger is a righteous thing. ヤホブの手紙は人の怒りは神の義を実現しないと言っています。So in Jacob's letter, I mean James' letter, it says that for man's anger does not bring about the righteousness life that God desires. それが人の怒りについての聖書の考え方です。And that's what the Bible says about the human anger. You can find it in James 1:20. ところが旧約聖書の中に。神様の怒りというふうに表されているところがたくさんあります。So if you look at the, at the Old Testament, you'll find many examples where God's anger is actually direct, is seen. では、新約聖書の中にもパウロは、不義に対して神様の怒りが現れると警告しています。Even in the New Testament, Paul warns us that God's anger will be upon those the injustice and the unrighteousness will be directed to us. 誤解しないように注意深く読んでいかなければなりません。神様の怒りはあなたの敵に向かうものではありません。God's anger is not something directed towards your enemy. あるいはあなた自身に向かうものでもありません。It's, not, it's actually even not something directed towards you yourself. 誰であってもそして特に自分は神の民だと思っている人に人の不正義とか不誠実を起こさせるそういう人たちに不正義不誠実を起こさせる罪になります。Irrespective of you are, even the people who think that they are, they are, they are, they are God's true chosen people, God's anger will always be directed to anyone, not just those people, but even Those people who claim to be, who are doing the injustice or whatever. 人間の言語、言葉というのは、例外なく特定の文化、社会、歴史の中で発展したものです。The human language actually developed from、uh, different cultures, of, from society, or from history. ですから、それを超えた概念を,概念を説明するには、言葉はとても不十分です。And we don't have really enough vocabulary to explain something beyond that what's already there. 当時の人々は自分たちに理解できないことを神様の怒りと理解するしかなかったんです
Many generations ago, people actually thought that something that could not be explained was a result of God's anger. It's because compared to now, there were so many things that couldn't really be explained. And on top of that, the people who lived at the time of the Old Testament didn't know Jesus. That's why we have to forgive the people who lived at, at that time. But there are people who are actually more problematic. それはイエスのことを知っているの。イエスを神様と信じていると口では言っているのに旧約聖書のように罪とではなく人と戦っているクリスチャンです。It's those Christians who already know Jesus who even confess with their mouth that they believe in Jesus and they are following Jesus and but still they continue to fight other people as their enemies instead of fighting the sin within them. And those are the people who think that tsunamis are a result of God's anger directed to others. So as we've seen now, even something that we that at first appears as a result of God's anger is actually a result of the sin within us. And actually God when he looks at that kind of thing, instead of really getting angry, but he actually gets really so annoyed and his heart gets broken because of those kind of things. It's because God has to look at all the things that happened around. Someone you made, the people you, you made as brothers and sisters, they are fighting each other. And one of them maybe for, for self-gain is trying to kill the other. And having to look at that, I think, really breaks God's heart. Do you understand really what kind of feeling God has? It's, it's actually looking at the people, the, the people who are supposed to be close to each other, fighting one another and hating one another. And that, that, that kind of feeling is what God is feeling. I know so many people who look at their relatives, who are the relatives fighting one another, and they really feel sad inside of them because the people who are supposed to be close to one another are instead hating and fighting each other. For those of you who have kids, I think you will understand this. What feeling will you have if your own child is fighting with someone very close to you? That's why I say you should be good to <laughs> So what kind of feeling will you have if a friend who is very close to you commits suicide? And that's the same kind of sadness that God feels towards us. And it's actually painful. And that actually shows how God loves us, the human beings. 
一人もかけてはいけない愛する子供たちです。He loves each one of us. 何人であっても、何民族であっても、何教徒であっても同じです。It's the same irrespective of your nationality or your religion or your beliefs, God still loves you. そこで私たちに許されている唯一いつの怒りは罪に対する怒りになります。The only anger which we are allowed to have is the anger towards sin. この怒りをどうぶつけたらいいんでしょうか ?How will you find this kind of anger? ボクシングで使うあのサンドバッグに罪と書いてそれを殴りつければいいんでしょうか You think it's righteous? Maybe you can make a, a sandbag and write the word sin in it and start boxing it. <laughs> We don't need, really need to, to convey our anger in this kind of way. It's not about physical fighting. そうではなくてそれは神と人に対する愛の行為として表すのです。We have to convey it as a love between people and God. 正反対です。It's the other way around. イエス様が来てそのようにひっくり返したんです。Jesus came and turned things around in that way. 罪に対する最も有効な攻撃は神と人を愛することなんです。The, the correct way to fight sin is to love God and to love people. 心が愛されそうなほどに私たちが罪に支配されていることを悲しんで、罪から私たちを解放されたイエスがそう勧めているんです。This、Jesus actually encourages us to do this, to fight this kind of heartbreaking sin that's Walking around our hearts. It's not something I'm just mentioning out of the blue. Please listen to what Jesus had to say. It's in Matthew 5 43 to 45. You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies. And pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of the Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise from the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. あなた方も聞いている通り、隣人を愛して敵を憎めと命じられている。しかし私は言っている。敵を愛し、自分を迫害する者のために祈りなさい。あなた方の天の父のことなるためである。父は悪人にも。善人にも太陽を昇らせ、正しいものにも、正しくないものにも雨を降らせてくださるからである。聖書はどこを読むにしても、その背景を無視すると、神様の言葉を誤解することもあります。If you read the Bible and ignore all the background information and only focus on one thing, you, may try, you, you will misunderstand God's true words. あるいはその前後の文脈を無視すると誤解します。Or if you, 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 you miss, you, you kind of ignore what comes before and after that, you will always try, you will always misunderstand God's true words. そこでこれから読もうとしている箇所もここだけ読むと神様は従う民には恵みを与えるけれども、背く民は絶滅する大変残虐な方であるということになってしまいます。Even what we're going to read now, if you only take that Context as it is, I mean, look at it and just pick up that part. You will misunderstand that God will give a blessing to those who follow Him and kind of destroy from the surface of the earth those who do not follow His will. If you read it in that context, you will think that God is the God who will be like.、Uh, Causing genocide to, to those who are sinners or those who don't follow him. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their prosperity. 
posterity from mankind. It's kind of scary, isn't it? でもこの描写はダビデによる民の民の王の期待の言葉なんです。But this is actually what King David was looking forward to. to. It's not something from God. 私の敵を全部やっつけてくださいという気持ちから出たこと。It's something from his feeling that、uh, all his enemies should disappear from the surface of the earth. 聖書は神の言葉です。Bible is a word of God. でも表面的に全てが神様の命令ではありません。But if you look at it, not everything is a, a directive from God. どこが私たちが誤解しやすいところです。There are so many things that are easily misunderstood. 歴史の中でキリスト教はその誤解を随分してきました。Even in the history of the Christian church, there are so many things that have been misunderstood. 皆さんはもう神様の怒りや神様と私たちの共通の敵が罪であるということを知っていますから、旧約聖書の人たちをに誤解しないですよね。I believe for us here we already know what God's anger is and what the true enemy is. We will not make the same mistake as those people in the Old Testament. 神様はどの民族も、どのような人々も、どのような文化も滅ぼしなさいと命じる方ではありません。God is not a God who will tell you that this, maybe this kind of tribe, this kind of believers, this kind of people should be wiped from the surface of the earth. It's not that kind of God. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed, for you will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with a drawn bow. 彼らはあなたに向かって悪事を企み、陰謀を巡らすが決して成功しない。かえってあなたは彼らを引き倒し、彼らに向かって弓を引き絞られる。イエスは十字架の上で罪に勝利されました。Jesus might victorious over sin at the cross. 罪の捕虜となっていた私たちを解放しました。He actually saved us who had been slaves, who had, who had, been, who had been slaves of sin. そしてイエスと共に罪と戦う者として立たせてくださいました。And he made us to be able to fight together with, to fight sin with him. この罪との戦いという意味で言うならば、ここに歌われているダビデの気持ちに共感できます。So, if you look at it as a way of, of fighting sin, we will kind of get the same feeling. We understand the true feeling what David will have some sharing of how David felt. God wants us to look at as being able to be the man victorious over sin. But look, I say that. Jesus magnified victorious over sin and the cross. What do you think? Is it, it, this kind of, it, is it a little bit contradictory? We already have, we already emerged victorious over sin. You may think that Jesus was victorious over sin. Why do I still have to struggle? Why do I still have to struggle? 収めたはずなのに私の心の中にはまた心の中には罪がいつの間にか起き上がってきてまた戦わなきゃならないんだろう。Despite many times of overcoming sin, why do I have to always fight the sin within me all the time? 多分皆さんそういうことを感じていらっしゃると思います。I believe you have that kind of feeling inside of you. そうなんです。私たちは実は死ぬまで罪と戦い続けるんです。It's actually true. We have to keep fighting until we die. この戦いを通して私たちは神様の愛を深く知り成長していきます。It's, this, it's because of this fight that we、we'll、get to understand deeply God's love and we are able to grow. 何の心配もなく安らげる時というのはまだ来てください。The time when we will have a rest is not yet here. You will rest when you go to heaven and have fun there. 
今一人遠くで頑張っている皆さんの家族がいます。There is one, one family member of yours who is staying somewhere far. で、その人が最近私にあのメールを通して話してくれたことがあります。That person actually recently contacted me through email. こんなふうに感じてるらしいです。And this is his feeling. 自分はみんなに、みんなに追いつきたくて崖に登っているような気がするという。I feel like I'm trying to climb up the cliff to, to reach where you people are. I need to reach where you are. But in the back of my mind, I always feel like I'm trying to climb up the cliff to reach where you are. I need to reach where you are. Not be able to reach that level, please. You can you just stop climbing up the cliff. I kind of get that kind of advice and stop the climb. But sometimes I have to start again and start climbing up. And I get tempted again and step back and stop. また登る、また止まる、その繰り返しですと。And I keep on repeating this climb, stop, climb, stop, and it's, it's not stopping. It's, not, it's some continuous cycle. そこで私はこう励ましました。And this is what I have to say. 登るのはイエスにもっと近づくためであって、まだ慣れていない自分になるためじゃないよと言いました。To actually climb is To get as close to Jesus as possible. It's not some kind of self fulfillment of reaching where you haven't reached yet. It's not something to, to get closer to the people you are looking at, it's not something about getting closer to them. It's not that the people you are looking at are on top of the hill or they are on the other side of the hill. They are also climbing with you. Everyone actually gets those kind of the voice of the tempting voices to tell them to stop. But, and they actually are supposed to stop and sometimes stumble, but they always get up and continue the climb. だから後ろから聞こえてくるもうやめろという声ではなくてイエスの声や祈る友の声に耳を傾けましょうと勧めました。And I told him that you don't really have to listen to that voice behind you telling you to stop, but instead listen to the voice of Jesus, listen to the voice of the people who are praying together with you and continue the climb. この誘惑はその人だけにされているわけではなくて皆さん自分にされていることだとよく。And so this kind of temptation is not something specific to that person I've just talked about, but it's, it applies to each one of us here. It's the voice of Satan that calls us to stop. And that's why I say that we shouldn't really look at that illusion of the death God's anger directed towards me, but instead we have to continue the fight and climb together. We have to pray together as we continue this journey. And lastly, I would like to talk about one other weapon that we've been given to help us in this fight. David, through singing, actually, was always made some encouragement to himself. Of course, he thought that other people were. His enemies, there was, there, there was some kind of deviation from the true path. Singing or music is actually a big, a big strength that we have. 
というわけで最後に14節に目を置きます。Okay, then let's look at verse 14. Maybe it's verse 13 in the English version. B. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. まあ、正直言って賛美という言葉には疲れています。他の国は知りませんけど、日本ではもうなんか歌うこと、教会で歌うこと、何でも賛美って言うんですか。Japan, ちょっと考えなきゃいけないんです。神様に向かって歌うということは古くから礼拝のコンセプトの中にありました。聖書の中で主に向かって賛美するという言葉が最初に記録されているのは出エジプト記の15章です。This actually first appeared in the Bible in the book of Exodus, chapter 15. Let's read it. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord I will sing to the Lord, for he is mighty, he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and, and my song, he has become my salvation. モーセとイスラエルの民は主を賛美してこの歌を歌った。主に向かって私は歌おう。主は大いなる意向を表し、馬と乗り手を海に投げ込まれた。主は私の力、私の歌。主は私の救いとなってくださった。<笑>ナビでは主に歌うことに熱心で多く歌を作り、人々にも歌うことを勧めました。デビッドは実際にもう、えー Singing to God was David's true calling, and he used to sing and actually made so many songs and actually asked people to sing to God. この伝統はユダヤ教に引き継がれ、そしてキリスト教にも引き継がれて、今でも私たちはそれを引き継いでいます。This kind of tradition was passed over to the Jews and to many people, and up to now we now have that tradition of singing. 形は様々ですけれども日曜日の礼拝で歌を歌うあるいは音楽を使わない教会はほとんどありません。Maybe there are so many different formats, but I have not seen any church where there is no singing or any music involved in the service. ところが歌には力があるので使い方を間違えると困ったことになります。But in, in the song, There is always some power, and if you kind of misunderstand that, there will be its consequences. Music itself has a large impact on the people and If you look at the music or the musicians, sometimes it turns out to, to be the musicians turn out to be idols in your life if you if you do not look at it carefully. There are so many ways where music is used in ways that do, are not pleasing to God. Maybe during times of war, worship songs or the hymns become a kind of a war song. During the Second World War, Japan fought its neighbors. So, the Lengo And they actually sent the soldiers with a, with a, with a worship song. そして日本の教会でも賛美歌を歌って兵士を送り出しました
the Japanese church also made a song and sent their soldiers with that song. そこで歌われた賛美歌というのは戦争用に使われたとても特殊なものです。And that kind of worship song was something closely related to what was used in the world. 神様は私たちと共にいるから敵をたくさん倒しましょうと言ったんです。It was a song about that God is always with us and we have to use that strength to, to, to overthrow or to, to defeat our enemies. <笑>どっちも神様のために敵を倒しますと歌ってるんです。Maybe the other country was also fighting, using the song to fight with the, with the God's help, and this one also. So, <laughs> and God is listening to both of them. I, I believe God was really wondering what's, what's this happening? What's happening? That's why we have to be very careful understanding what kind of what the meaning behind us singing to God or what God is listening through our songs. I said the kind of overheard, I mean the word worship or praise. So, if we consider everything as praise, the content kind of gets very diluted, and so we miss so many things in that. David の歌をよく見ていくと、褒めたたえる賛美の歌だけではないということがわかります。So, if we listen to, to David's songs, it's not everything is about praising. そうではなくて、自分の思いや願いを神様に伝える歌がたくさんあります。There are so many songs that talk about his Request or his desires and conveying those desires to God. The your church, there, do you think that you to some show, genkin, hometa, tail, uta, yori, mo, jibun, no, mo, ya, negai, or style, nagyo, no, uta, o, o, k, uta, y, mas. So in your church, there are actually many songs about sending our requests or our desires to God instead of praising, just praising. So there are. 皆さん一人一人が神様に神様の近くにいること今までよりももっと近づくこと親密になることが何よりも大事だからだと思っているからです。It's because we think it's very very important for each one of us to get as closer to God as possible compared to the way you are now you have to get more closer and more closer to God we Feel that is a very, very important concept of your church. We do not say here for us to get high, and then after we are really high, we go out. It's not that, but instead, it's to get more closer to God. And to get more. Intimate with Jesus. So, you are going to go to the church. And that's why today again we are going to continue singing. So, the more to show each other and get more closer to God. So, the other guy should also do so that you do go to take it and get the feeling that we are actually very, very close to God. And you have to look forward to God talking to you through that singing. Let's pray. Kaisa,私たちは時々というか多くの時に本当の敵を見失い、人を憎み、人を敵としてしまうそのようなものです。Yeah, God, often. We misunderstand who our true enemy is and instead look at the people around us and consider them as our enemies. So, the sin to you, how to not take you, you should have put over your kindness. And we miss that our, our true enemy is sin. We try to miss that kind of that point. Kono the kiva, the test that you get the kito motte, the kito tachino naka nimo, so she jibin no naka nimo, hataraku. 
today we learned that this enemy is the enemy that is within the people we think they are our enemies and also works within us. God, we know that there is no other way but through love that we are able will be able to fight this enemy. We want to love you more. We want to love the people around us more. Please make us grow as loving people. We send our desires to you through songs. Please answer our desires and our, our requests. We thank you, God. We praise you. Thank you and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.